Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. Well, I must say I'm a little late to the party on this one. This is a uh, Queen uh, Stockman uh, in the winter bottom bone. And, uh, well, I bought this one at the same time that I picked up the Gamecock. And after picking that up, I realized that now I have uh, five knives in this uh, winter bottom bone by Queen. These are the Chinese made Queen knives. And I thought, well, you know what? got five of them. I think there's only eight or nine in the series, so maybe I'll just go ahead and pick up the entire series. Well, it looks like uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works has pretty much uh, decided to discontinue the uh, Knives Made in China by Queen, and um, they had a fire sale on all these things, and they're gone there, and uh, they seem to be disappearing all over the place. So, uh, I'm hoping that the uh, winter bottom bone uh, Chinese made queens get moved over to like either the Rough Rider lineup or the uh, or uh, maybe marbles or something like that because uh, after getting the uh, fifth one of these or actually getting the fourth and fifth one of these at the same time I started looking at this more and more and it's like you know what the more I look at this the more I actually like the winter bottom and I was thinking I'm going to just go ahead and pick them all up. Uh, and then start looking for more winter bottom. Now, one of the things that a person told me, yeah, let me, as long as I'm yammering, here's the uh, Barlow in this also. I will eventually get back to this. I like the Barlow because uh, they were nice and didn't put a shield on it. But in any case, when I uh, started talking about these knives on uh, SMKW Army, one of the Facebook groups, somebody said that, uh, well, uh, winter bottom bone is exclusive to Queen. And, um, well, that's not technically true. Uh, and so I, what I thought I'd do a little bit, and I'm not going to go into great detail, but basically Winterbottom was a company. It was founded by a guy named Winterbottom, and he supplied uh, bone to numerous uh, knife companies. And the jigging that you see here is probably the most common Winterbottom jig. And this was a jig that was used by Queen, but it was also used by several other companies, including um, Camillus, um, Cataragus, K-Bar, and um, a couple other companies. I think even Imperial might have used uh, the uh, winter bottom bone jig like this. So it is not something that was just unique to uh, Queen, but Queen sort of made it famous. Um, and so it's a very, uh, it's a bone jigging that is very much associated with Queen, but it was not exclusively used by Queen, nor did Queen have the trademark to it. And as far as I can tell right now, no one owns a trademark to Winter Bottom Jig Bone or Winter Bottom, um, at least not when it comes to bone jigging. Maybe somebody will buy it, who knows? But at currently, as far as I know, no one owns a uh, a trademark to it, and therefore no specific um, company um, can lay claim to this and say this is their jigging. Um, however, it is very much associated with Queen. Now, I would love it if um, if Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the current owner of the Queen trademark would uh, start making winter bottom jig bone for their um, USA made knives. Um, and I know, I know a lot of people are going, well, then the bone needs to be made in the United States and everything. Uh, believe me, that's not really true. There are uh, companies who make knives in the USA, assemble knives in the USA. I did the uh, air quotes assemble knives in the USA, but their handle material is not necessarily sourced in the USA. They may be getting that uh, um, bone or wood or something else from a country in Asia or a country in South America, a country in Europe. Who knows what it is, is the uh, knife is being assembled here. And that is nothing new. There have been um, companies that have sourced their handle materials from other nations for a long time. It is nothing new. 
Uh, matter of fact, some of the exotic materials that you see on like a a, a, a GEC or a a queen uh, or a, a older queen knife or even the case knives that you run into, some of the material does not come from the United States, and there's a good reason for it. It doesn't exist in the United States. But in any case, getting back to this, I still wouldn't mind seeing this bone uh, showing up in Rough Rider, uh, especially if Queen USA is not going to be using winter jig bottom bone. I'm sorry, winter bottom jigged bone. Uh, now, with that said, let's move on to this particular knife because I was really excited when I saw this. Um, I knew there were um, um, Stockman knives in the winter bottom jig, but I did not see this one right away. And when I was picking up this one, uh, the Gamecock, I actually saw this one. This was actually a gift to me, by the way. In any case, I actually saw this one. And I thought, man, that is pretty cool. And it isn't just because it's a skinny Stockman. Uh, it is a skinny Stockman, uh, a little skinnier than I would like. Uh, and it is also a relatively large Stockman coming in right at three and seven eighths inches long. But what got me is uh, right over here. And that was, it was a Stockman with a punch blade on it. And I had seen uh, earlier uh, winter bottom jig bone Stockmans from Queen, Queen China, but it did not have the uh, punch blade. And so I saw this and it's like, well, as long as I'm grabbing this one, I just as well grab this one because who doesn't want a nice little Stockman with a punch blade on it? So I grabbed it right away and uh, I'm pretty impressed with the, the punch on here. It is not extremely sharp, but it would be easy enough to sharpen it uh, and make it much pointier than it is. But I'm happy with just how pointy it is. What I like about it is the bevel that they have in here because you've got a basically like a center spine running down the middle of that. That really gives it some added strength. This thing is not flexible at all. We're talking about something that is really designed to punch. Um, and then you have the two sides going down. So it's kind of triangular or more actually more like a trapezoid. But the point comes down pretty well. And uh, with the two sides uh, meeting up, so you basically got a swedge on both sides. See, it's not sharp. Now, I believe uh, some people have had some that are a little bit on the sharper side, especially out by the tip. And it would be easy enough to put an edge on there because I do believe this is a, a 440A stain. I'm sorry, not 440A, 440C stainless steel. And I'm assuming that it might be of the same hardness as the other blades on here, but it's just a pretty cool uh, uh, punch blade on here. And the other blades that come with it are your standard blades that you see on a, uh, a serpentine stockman, especially the uh, the more slender built ones. And that is a nice little sheep foot here. And uh, again, got the queen on every blade. And then, um, the action could be a little bit better on here, if you heard it. It's uh, It doesn't really pop to position. Probably need to just clean it, but uh, action's not bad either. We're talking about a knife I think I spent about $17 on tops. Might have been more than it. Might have been in the 20s, right around 22 23 something like that. I had the price down here somewhere. In any case, what you're seeing here, 440C stainless steel. So a little bit upgrade in the steel. Uh, they referred to this as a satin finish. I would say it's semi-mirror polished. It's not as uh, shiny as what you expect, but it's also not a true satin finish, but it does have a nice sheen to it. And uh, this one is a nice kind of a long clip going on. And I really kind of like that one too. And you got the uh, queen shield going into the uh, winter bottom bone. See that? Let's get that showing up a little better. There we go. The nickel silver bolsters. You got the uh, brass uh, liners and a brass spacer running down the middle there. And uh, just a really nice knife. Um, nice pins going on. And if you see the bone in the back here, uh, nice and flush and everything else. So. Uh, a lot of people have commented about how well the uh, queen knives are made, and they are quite well made uh, for a knife made in China. Um, 
the build quality is right up there with Rough Riders, which is what most people expect because it is made in the Rough Rider factory. The difference, though, is I have yet to see a Rough Rider stockman with a punch. So even if uh, they don't pull every knife in the Queen lineup over to Rough Rider, this is one knife that they definitely need to pull over to there. The, uh, uh, the three and seven eighths inch uh, medium stockman, maybe a large stockman or maybe a medium large stockman. I don't know what you want to call it, but with a punch blade. Everyone has been uh, demanding a punch blade and uh, it's nice to see it here, but it would also be nice to see it. I move over into Rough Rider because uh, it looks like Queen China is no more. Speaking of which, I'd also love to see this knife move over into the uh, Rough Rider lineup because uh, this knife, it showed up and disappeared just like poof, and it was gone. And I know a lot of people are still looking for this in the, uh, the secondary market prices for these knives are absolutely ridiculous already. And we're talking about a knife made in China that was not going into that uh, area. Uh, but like right now, I think the cheapest you're going to find this knife on uh, eBay is like $40. And uh, by the time this video airs, I wouldn't doubt if it's over 50 bucks that you want to be paying just to get this knife, which is double the price that it originally was. And uh, I can picture similar things happening with the other winter bottom bone uh, queen china knives. Um, they disappeared very quickly. And uh, as I'm sure there are some people out there who are still looking for a few parts and, uh, you know, to complete the collection. And you might run into some serious problems. And uh, hopefully you can get them at a halfway decent price before they just get absolutely silly in price. Uh, so even a knife made in China with the Queen name um, can easily become a collector's item considering um, the way uh, Smoky Mountain my Knife Works did their Queen knives. They, uh, they used some bone that was unique to Queen. That was the first step. And then they also made them in a pretty cool looking um, mother of pearl. And they also made them in a really nice um, abalone. And so those knives um, are something that people are looking for. I don't know if the yellow Delrin is going to hit as big, but uh, the other Queen knives, uh, well, I'm still very tempted to uh, get the rest of the winter bottom bone. I've got five, maybe I can get the other ones, but I'm not gonna go crazy. Anyway, with that said, I will let you go and I will talk to you again soon.
let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with the Pies. I really do appreciate it, and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. Really do appreciate your time here.